Hi guys, Steve here, welcome back. Hopefully you've seen my last video where I unboxed the Google Stadia. If not, please go and watch that first and I'll put a description and a link below. And you'll get to see everything that comes in the box. Now you've probably seen all the hate for Stadia going around, but I normally like to test things out for myself to see what I really like. So I was coming into this as somebody who's unbiased and completely neutral. That's how I started. But boy, did this piss me the hell off setting it up. Now you're going to find this video really funny and think, what the... But for me, hours, trying to get it to work, not so much. So first, we're going to start off with what no one else covers, is setting it up. I connected its charger and plugged Chromecast into the back of the TV. I've heard you can stream YouTube vids from your phone to the TV, by way of this if you don't have a smart TV. But I have a smart TV, I can do it anyway, so I've never needed one. The instruction manual you get is terrible. It tells you the bare minimum to non-existent. Just plug it in, set it up. Download the app, set it up. Nothing about what anything does, like the Chromecast, if you didn't know. Nothing about the setup options, what settings you need to pick, how to change those settings, or what order you need to do things in. So most of the time you've got to guess and try and work it out for yourself. Now I'm fairly knowledgeable when it comes to tech. I've built my own computer. I'm the guy my friends phone when the system fails to boot. I'm the one who sorts out their new TVs without reading the instructions, etc. So let's see how I get on. What you're going to see is the edited streamlined down version without me wasting hours of my time and at the end of it being extremely pissed off. So you plug in your Chromecast, select the right channel on your TV and this comes up. Sorry for the shaky cam, but I'm standing there filming it live. I enter the web address, scroll past all the ads, and that takes me to the download page. Go to the Google Play Store, open with Play Store, so it's called Google Home, not Chromecast. Click Install, accept and sign your life away so they can spy on you and start to download the app. Once that's done, open the app. Then click get started. I decided to put a camera on a tripod so you won't get seasick. Here I didn't know what to do so I click get started again. That took me to the setup page. Wasn't sure about that so I went back clicked on set up one device choose a home okay I'll add my home I'm going to call it home I want you to put your address in so it can track you then click next it'll look for devices it's found the Chromecast Ultra. Would you like to set it up? You click yes. Connect into the Chromecast Ultra. Connected. Next you get four digits come up on screen. If it's connected properly, you'll also see the four digit code on your TV screen at the same time. Click yes and it'll go to the update page. Now here's your first problem. Your Chromecast in the back of a TV is a wireless device. And like all wireless devices, it needs to connect to the internet. But as you saw, nowhere did it ever ask for my Wi-Fi password. So how the hell is it supposed to connect to the internet and update if it can't connect to the internet? So it's stuck on this page for a while in a long while. It wasn't updating at all so I tried to start again. I tried adding the device again with a smartphone and it gave me the four digit code again but the update page on the TV never changed. I gave up trying to do it this way so I plugged the LAN cable into the Chromecast charging Ethernet port and the Chromecast started to update. Finally some progress. But how is a Chromecast supposed to connect to the internet wirelessly if it doesn't have my Wi-Fi password? Like I say, never set one of these up before, so I don't know what I'm doing. And there's no instructions or explanation on how things are supposed to work. When it got to 100% it finished. Then the almost done screen came up. Waiting. Waiting. I 
and that changed to a TV screen saver picture. And finally it took us to set up your Stadia controller using the Stadia mobile app. Okay, we're almost there guys, we've got everything set up, but here comes a punchline. So I get my smartphone out again and go to the Google App Store. Google Stadia. And search a list of apps for the Stadia one. Stranger thought, the day after release and it's not at the top of a list. Let me scroll down and see if I can find it. It's a bit tricky filming this, doing it to the side with my wrong hand. Nope, not that one. The only Stadia I could find is this one, and that's to do with football. And as you can see, nowhere to be found. So I tried to search again and again and again under different names. Stadia. Stadia Google. Is it under a different name I don't know about? But no matter what I look for, I couldn't find Google Stadia. But then I remembered, when I was emailed the access code, it gave me a link to download the Stadia app from there. So I click the link and find the Stadia app. Finally, it's found it. I look over the screen to double check it's the right one. It looks like it. But then I notice the red text in the middle. Your device isn't compatible with this version. That's right guys, if your smartphone's too old, you can't even play Stadia. <laughs> what a joke. If you can't download the Stadia app, then you can't connect the Stadia controller, meaning you can't progress past this screen. So yeah, I can't even use this hardware that Google sent me for free. I'm glad it's free, or I'd be really pissed off about now. I knew that you could only use Stadia to stream games to Google Pixel phones, but come on, you can't even install the Stadia app on older phones. Now I have a Samsung Galaxy A5 2016 edition. It works fine, it does everything I want, so there was no need to upgrade it. Now Stadia costs £120, and its entire selling point is that you don't have to spend a lot of money on expensive consoles or computers. But if you've got an older phone, you can't use Stadia at all, unless you plug it into a computer, which makes it irrelevant in the first place. So I'm going to have to buy a new phone to get Stadia app to work. And the only phones that can stream Stadia at the moment are Google's own Pixel phones. And even then, I think you have to connect them up to USB. So it's £120 for the Stadia, and £600 for a new phone, for a total of £720. Now you can get a damn good gaming computer for that, or several new consoles. <laughs> then on top of that you'll be paying full price for games that are years old. I managed to get to the TV screensaver page by unplugging the Chromecast and then plugging it back in again. I've tried multiple ways to press a key configuration of a Stadia controller in the top right, but nothing's worked. And as I thought, I can stream YouTube videos from my phone to my TV by the way of Chromecast. That's the only use I can get out of all of this, but I could do that before with my smart TV, so even that's useless. So yeah, I have set the Chromecast up, but I'm unable to download or use a Stadia app. I can't use a Stadia controller, because you need a Stadia app to set that up. I can't even enter the access code that was emailed to me to create my own Stadia account and select my name, as that's all done with a Stadia app that I can't download. You are forced to do everything on your phone app. There is no software or operating system on the Chromecast that you plug into your back of your TV. It just seems to be a basic transmitter and receiver with no stadium software at all. And while plugged in, the Chromecast seems to be getting pretty darn hot. So yeah, I can't even get mine set up. And the only real use I can get out of it is for a doorstop. Overall, I'm really not impressed with this. Most people aren't going to pay full price for games that are years old. They're going to feel ripped off. Never mind all the problems I've experienced. I am going to try to see if I can get it to work with a computer. But if I've got a computer, why on earth would I need a Stadia? There are no instructions anywhere to set it up with a computer, so I'm going to have to try and figure that out. And if I can, I'll do an additional video where I'll test to see what the input lag's like, as that's the main thing I was interested in. But if not, I couldn't even get this thing to work. I hope this video has been informative, and if it has, please like, subscribe, share, click the bell, the usual, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye!